So here we are in the back room at Stein where the, the laser magic happens. Uh, That's right. Danny, you had some fun doing some uh, laser work for our panel. I yep. know when we first sent the, the logo in that we wanted, I didn't even think that was gonna be possible. Uh, and you're like, yeah, here, watch this. <laughs> and you, you, you sent us a couple um, trial runs and we, we dialed it in. And I'll tell you on the actual panel, it just looks absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. So what, what process goes into engraving the panel? Uh, well, I guess we just consider, uh, we want to pick a color that, uh, well, when we do the graphics, we want to pick a color that gives a good contrast to sure. the panel color. Uh, usually on a dark gray panel, we'll do a white graphics and on a light color panel, we'll do dark graphics. But um, yeah, we just got to make sure everything is lined up correctly with the design. And then we just, we just run, the, <clears throat> run the laser. And what determines the color? Uh, the customer chooses what color they okay. want. Uh, but, but is it is it paint? Is it the laser? Is it uh, like the, how how do you get the color? The panel color? Uh, no, or the, the, the actual the graphics color. The graphics color we use um, just an acrylic paint, uh, just like from a hobby store. It's like this uh, heavy okay. bond Liquitex paint. Wow, it's really that simple. Yep. Believe it or not, like in the whole process of laser engraving, I I could not wrap my head around the colors, mm -hmm. and you know what options we had or not and you're like here I, you tell me what color it is i'll, I'll, I'll make it happen and i was sure. like i i struggled understanding that but then seeing the video that you shot of actually painting i'm like oh it is that simple yep yeah it's usually just white or black because that gives the best contrast okay. against the panel color yeah. um, but we have other colors too some people have done red or orange or green for different graphics okay yeah it's a painstaking process to uh, kind of go after the laser has done its job to get the paint in there? Yeah. No, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty okay. easy. Yeah, not you, complicated. You make it look easy. Yeah, well, I've been doing it a while. So, <laughs> so what, um, what, what, what's the process of going from a design file? Uh, because obviously the design itself is done earlier in the process. And mm -hmm. you know, like we worked with Nick a lot back and forth, getting our design set up. Mm -hmm. uh, but then how, how does it get down here into this computer and then eventually onto this panel? Sure, we have the uh, files on record in our customer files. And so okay. um, once we get the panel design, it's turned into a cut file, which is just the cut lines, you know, none of the graphics or none sure. of the other details. And then it's cut on our CNC machine. And then after that, it gets painted. And then from there, um, I'll use that cut file and I'll put the graphics back on the uh, just the cut file and the graphics layer back okay. on there. And then I'll convert that into a program that our um, CNC runs on, okay. which is a different program from the CNC. But oh. um, so the laser and CNC have two different programs, but okay. um, I'll use this program and then I'll just have the cut file plus the graphics. And then I will just have it either cut the graphics or trace the graphics either way. And then, uh, you just do one section at a time until it's all complete. Okay, so you, you just go like step by step, like would you do all the switches at once or you do one switch at a time? I usually do a uh, section. So I might do the left side of the panel first. Okay. And then, or do it in the quadrant. So I'll do like maybe the top first and then this left side and then the center and then the right side. And so I just make sure the laser is focused and tracing in the correct spot on every time. Okay. How long does it take you to do a actual full panel laser engrave? Um, the time on the table is usually about an hour or okay. so of table time and then uh, another hour or so, sometimes longer of painting. Painting and cleaning. Yeah, and painting and cleaning. And sometimes that, usually everything gets painted twice. Uh, I paint it, clean, let it dry, okay. clean it up, and then I usually go over it a second time because as the paint dries, it kind, of, um, it kind of shrinks a little bit. Okay. And so some of the letters need to be filled in a second time. Second time. Um, sometimes even a third time if it's uh, like carbon fiber overlay mm. is even more of a process. It's just that attention to detail that really, really, really matters. Yep. And uh, so it's like half a day is for most panels once it gets to the stage. So it's, yep. it's the design time that takes a long time. And then it's the, yep. the actual cutting the wires and the, the, the magic that happens afterwards. Yep, yep, usually half a day spent on uh, lasering and graphics and, okay. and whatnot. And what about the, the CNC process, the actual cut-in? Because you, you start with just a, a flat sheet of aluminum metal, right? Yep. How thick is that metal? Uh, we do 0 0.063, okay. um, 63 thousandths aluminum. Um, and yeah, it gets cut on our CNC and then uh, Blake here who will do all the fabrication on that. He'd add in the rivets and the rails and okay. um, do any of the sanding that needs to be done. All the fabrication, 
is done over there. Okay. Yep. So that gets done and then it gets shipped off to get painted. Mm -hmm. Because yep. that, that is actually the one thing that you do outsource here. Uh, yep. just, uh, here you have a pretty good painter who yep. uh, takes good care of uh, all of us and uh, you guys. So uh, yep. We have a local painter. He used to do um, auto body, automotive shop. He, does, okay. he repairs classic cars Ooh. and restores classic cars. And uh, we approached him and asked him if he could maybe do some side painting for us. And uh, he was excited to take it on, something different. And uh, Nice. And so he's been doing... Uh, yeah, these panels for us for the last three years. Before that, we had a different auto body shop do it. Okay. Um, and they, we had a good relationship with them, but um, when we relocated to Fairbolt, um, we wanted to find a local. Someone painter. closer yeah. and who yeah. had that kind of attention to detail that right. you needed. Because yep. our other uh, painter was 30 miles away, and so wow. it was kind of a lot of back and forth. That so. becomes a lot of a big logistical challenge. Right. Yep. So. so. What are some of the crazy graphics that you've uh, done? I, I thought I was going to stump you, but you, you you knocked that out of the park. Is that kind of normal? or? Uh, yeah, no, we've done a few, um, I wouldn't say crazy graphics, but uh, a lot of the typical logos. You know, I've done Vans logos and uh, Dynon logos and Garmin logos okay. and uh, a lot of the typical companies. Um, but a, a few like personal logos that people have wanted. So Fantastic. Yeah, I'm able to uh, import those graphics and trace them and pull them and you know open them up in CAD and trace them and make them in a file that okay. I can use. So, so you, you're getting pretty good at yeah, it. That's all custom work too. Yeah. Yep. It's wow. not just drag it and laser it. I usually have to create a new file from okay. it. Okay. So, so you, you were able to take our file that we gave you, traced it and yep. uh, figure out how to make that work. But yep. Trace it, tweak it. And, yeah. Yeah. I really liked how we um, chose what to fill in versus what to outline. Is I, 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 it, it, it pops like mm -hmm. uh, just an amazing amount on that panel. Yep. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to uh, be staring at that as we fly in the future. Yeah. So for us, it's like we've been talking about the panel for so long, going back and forth, and we completely paused on it for a while until mm -hmm. Nick said, hey, prices are going up at, in December. So it's like, all right, let's do it. And it seemed like it went from talking about it to done in like no time flat because it was, right. it felt like a week later you're sending me a uh, video of the panel being done. I'm like, already? Wow, that was quick. But yeah. Uh, it's real now, but yep. and then yeah, once we have a design done, we can uh, we can move forward pretty quickly from cool. there. And then seeing how much work has been done on that panel and it's like practically done. Mm -hmm. I know there's another probably weeks worth of work in there to finish tidying it up before it gets shipped out. But yep. it was really impressive coming up here and seeing all this hard work. So thank you, appreciate that. Well, hopefully we get to see that CNC machine run here in a second. But um, dude, I really appreciate yeah. you. Thank you for all the attention to detail and the great work. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to be proudly displaying your uh, product here in our plane here well, really soon. Well, I'm happy I help. And uh, it's been a good process to work with you. And uh, cool. glad to see it all come together at the end. Yep. So. Well, here we are. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for watching 14 Victor Echo. We'll see you around next time.